Hey, it's Marie Matson again. I wanted to show you if you're interested in learning more about um, Office Ally, how exactly easy it is for you to use. I have made an appointment for Joe Cool. He's my practice guy. So if you just go in to uh, the practice mate, I've already entered his information, but it's not difficult to enter, right? I got an alert that says, hey, he's got a $25 copay right off the bat, which is really cool. So that can be taken care of when he checks in. I'm going to hit update. And when I go to check him in, I'll get my pop up. And there is a check mark down here at the bottom of this pop up that says check in. So I'm going to check him in right there and then hit update. Okay, now in practice mate, it's married to electronic health record 24 seven. So I have another tab already open just because of privacy. If I go back one second because of privacy and pull that data up, I'll show you on the desktop. So he's so cool is back in, here we go back in the patient area, call them back and your MA, or if you're the practitioner, all you have to do is you have electronic health record 24 seven pulled up. You'll see all your patients for that particular day. And now you're in his chart. Want to create a progress note. I have been going into system note. You can set up a custom soap note. Um, they're easy to do. There are templates there. You can also make guidelines um, that are real specific to you. And a guideline can be put in any uh, note. If you need help, let me know. I can help you um, make your soap notes and your templates. Um, it's super easy. Once it's all set up the way that it should be, you get a soap note. I can go back to his previous notes. So here's the note I made for December 2nd. I'll have to adjust the date because it defaults to today's date, you'll notice. So if this is 1202024, okay, here's my note. Type anything you want or you have drop downs that you can pull in information that you have stored, super easy. You can put in your system defined diagnosis those things that we do on setup. Um, you may have a list that you use in particularly. If you know the code, great. If you don't, I'm going to use cervicalgia. Funny. It's not in this system. So instead, let's just show me. Let's choose swelling of a limb. There it is. My CPT code. Maybe I'm going to have some surgery today. In the template, when you first set up, you can put in your place of service, which this happens to be Office 11. You can put in your procedure information. It can all be made in during the setup time. When you hit update, this is the coolest part, I think. So you get to create your visit right from here. There is no need to send some piece of paper off to a billing person you the practitioner can create your own visit you have your diagnosis code you have your procedure code why not just make your visit from right here if everything has been entered correctly the insurance everything has been done boom it's done now guess what we can go back to practice mate so the patient's gone off back to the front desk we're going to say hey show me any open visit and we're going to get joe cool this is today's, right? We've just made this visit, December 2nd. I'm gonna click this box. I'm gonna choose create the HICFA, which in this case, my, so let's go look. It says I'm missing my diagnosis pointer. I forgot a step right there. Diagnosis pointer, it lets me know. Okay, let's fix it, update that quick. Here, create my HICFA. Go to claims and billing 
Here's Joe Cool right there. Boom. I can submit his claim. As long as the insurance information is in there, it will go. In this case, I'm just going to hit print, okay? So that it doesn't go off to Aetna because he's not really a patient. Here is my HICFA form. It is that simple. Super fast. Makes billing a breeze. Whether you're a counselor, physical therapist, surgeon, medical doctor, naturopath, even dental folks are using Office Ally. Super easy. If you need my help, let me know. I'll put my contact information in the comments below. Have a great day.